So now in the last video we looked at the NPN bipolar junction transistor that uh, fades off an LED over time after you turn the switch off. This video we're using a PNP bipolar junction transistor. And so the wiring is the same except for opposite polarities. And so now we got the emitter to the positive side of the power supply. We're going to use the 2N3906 emitter if you're looking at the flat side again is uh, the left pin the base is the middle pin and the collector is the right pin so that was the same pin layout for the 2N3904 but since chemistries are opposite we're going to put the emitter on the opposite side so the transistor is facing the other way on the breadboard and so the current that goes through the LED and the resistor the maximum current is set by the LED and the resistor but the amount of current that can flow through the transistor is determined by how much current is flowing from emitter to base right there. So when the switch is open, the capacitor is discharged, there is no current flow from base to emitter, so no current flow from collector to emitter. When we close the switch, since we have a 10 kilo ohm resistor, the capacitor instantly charges right there, and current instantly starts flowing from emitter to uh, base so it's a low current because it's 10 kilo ohms but uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor there but you just need a small current to allow many times the current maybe a hundred times we'll just say a hundred times to uh, make things easy the current will flow from collector to emitter that is flowing from base to emitter that's the gain if it's a hundred you get a hundred times the current so in any case you release the switch you can see here that uh, we have a path through the transistor like that the capacitor starts discharging like that so it keeps the current flowing you start off with the initial voltage that you had and uh, the voltage drops of the capacitor as it discharges and then so at some point you'll get a low enough current where the transistor does not conduct fully the LED is not fully on and it will fade down as we saw before so here we are with the uh, pocket oscilloscope I got the cable comes out there, it ends at these alligator clips. I clip them to jumpers so I can easily move them to wherever I want, right there. Our voltage is going to be in relationship to ground. So we're just going to look at the load in this video, right there. The uh, NPN video, we looked at a lot of, uh, or a couple other measurements I should say. So in any case, PMP bipolar junction transistor emitter is up there now. So it's facing the other way that the NPN bipolar junction transistor was and the load is on the other side of the uh, circuit right there towards the more negative side of the circuit so I lowered it right there I always remember to put the LED in the right way long lead the anode towards positive short lead the cathode towards negative right there so 220 ohm resistor coming to the middle 10 kilo ohm resistor and we got the uh, negative side this is a polarized capacitor you gotta make sure that you put it in the uh, right direction so the uh, positive side is uh, going up there it's going over this uh, gray jumper that goes to ground which goes to the top of the switch right there so we'll just leave it like that it's a little easier to see so in any case just in case you had a hard time seeing that before we're going to go across the LED and so it has a forward voltage it takes some voltage to get going and we got a little voltage built up there that can't power anything and if we put a resistor on there or something it would go right to ground but in any case there's a little voltage build up now, with the switch closed, you can see we have the full 5 volts right there of the power supply across the LED and its protective resistor. And uh, now it's still 5 volts, now it's dropping. And uh, so it's, I don't know what it was like, 2, 3 seconds or something before it started dropping. And there you can see the curve. And when it gets pretty close to being flat, you know that the LED is off. So a little current will trickle through, you'll have a faint glow, but for the most part it's off once it's completely level it's completely off so in any case that's really about it for this video hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting to the screen click like subscribe the bell all that donate patreon if you can that helps out the most but just watching videos helps out a ton thanks for watching them I will see you in the next video